Holy shit, now that I restarted this game with all my settings on the most maximum it can go, everything looks so much more detailed. Jesus Christ. Like, everything's sharp. It looks magnificent. Don't you fucking dare. Leave me alone. <laughs> Full speed ahead. But yeah. I'm trying to ruin my fucking intro. This video is basically going to be me talking about what's been going on on the channel so far. And why my thumbnails have not been what they used to be. Well, at best it probably will seem that I'm being lazy. Maybe. But... In actuality, it's not even that. It's literally that I, since I have my new PC now, guys, you gotta remember, all my old stuff was on the other PC. So I have to move all of my sh shit over to this PC. But, yeah, I'm remaking my old thumbnail at the moment. It has been taking me a while to try and get everything, or I'm either gonna make a new, like, thumbnail layout. I also have been trying to figure out like some new outro stuff that I want to do. So I'm making a whole new outro, you know, I'm probably thinking about rebranding, stuff like that. I... And rebranding takes time. And especially since I'm going to be doing the art stuff myself, it's going to be taking quite a lot of time out of all of my like recording time and I would have to give up like a few days of you know uploading just to try and get that shit done just because because I wanted to be like at least something that I want and want to stick with for at least I guess a few years maybe so I've stuck in with this same logo for quite a long time now, you guys even noticed too that my logo has just been this magnificent V. <laughs> well, this magnificent golden V. And I love that symbol. I really do. But I feel like I want to try and do some other things with it. But I could, like, do, like, a contest and some shit, like... I guess give out Amazon gift cards, you know? Make a contest out of that. But I'm not sure if that's something I want to do. Or could afford to do right now. But I'm still thinking of, like, if I can't do it personally, if I can't, like, figure out a certain design for myself, I'll probably end up, you know, just going through with the contest and seeing if other people can, you know, match what I'm thinking, or at least come up with something better. Because I do want, like, a, like, a sort of mascot for my, for my channel. And I could do, like, contests off that, too. Actually, I could just do contests off of, like, multiple things. I really could. But, it's... Oh, wait. I don't even know what that does. Okay, can he not attack me? Is that what this is? Oh, no. Increased combat. I'm guessing that's like some kind of buff. But yeah, I'm just trying to figure out thumbnails, stuff like that, and you know, getting my channel back in order since I've been gone for like such a long time. And I've been here for quite a long time now, and I still haven't got it done because you guys know that I'm now working, and it takes quite a bit of, out of my day. You know, I could get like an editor or something, but you know, I don't have the money to be paying editors and shit. That's for sure. Shit, I could just... Dude, if I was like a bigger YouTube, I would definitely, you know, hire an editor just to help me out so I could have some more time in my day. But, I, I'm not. <laughs> and I doubt I will be. But that's fine, you know? All I gotta do is just get better at editing and find my own, like, style of editing. And get that situated. But, I'm just letting you guys know, it's not just because I'm being lazy with my thumbnails. It just, up, it just letting it, you know, pick a random screenshot out of the whole video. 
It's just that I'm trying to make my overlay once again, and I'm just not sure what I want it to look like anymore. But today I'm thinking about I'm going to make it back into my old overlay if I can make it perfectly how it looked back then. And I know my editing has not been too much changed at the moment because like I said, I, I'm i mostly busy now. So I normally don't even have the time to like fully edit like two videos. Most of the time I would just like, I would fully edit like a montage, but I would never, you know, take the time to fully edit a normal video when I want to but I can't because if I okay really really guys okay we're going back to the nades aren't we but most of the time I do want to fully edit my videos but uploading two videos a day that's pretty much my whole day and plus I have to stream right afterwards Meaning, rip sleep, and plus I get home around like, let's say, 3-ish? So I end up working for like 6 to, probably 6 to 5 hours a day, and it normally ends up being like 3 p.m., and I start streaming around like 6. That whole hour in between there? is literally just me editing. Okay, this is actually a lot worse than I thought it would be. But yeah, I'm literally wasting more time editing than I would be streaming. Hell, if I didn't have to, you know, edit, I would literally just stream as soon as I get home. As soon as I'm done recording, I can just send it to like an editor and shit. Like all these fancy big YouTubers. <laughs> but I can't do that. And plus, there's another thing behind even hiring an editor. You gotta make sure they're even your, like, type of style editor, you know? You gotta find an editor that knows how you like your videos to be edited. Because you never know what that editor could either end up doing. They could either just, you know, start skipping over the good parts that you want in, or, you know, cutting out, like, information stuff like that you you never know what it could be with like hiring editors for your channel sometimes you find some good ones that know what they're doing sometimes you can't so that's why I'm even iffy on even hiring an editor in the first place can you stop blowing yourself up please thank you and plus I have been having the urge to like just play anything I want anything I feel like on a channel I know the channel would surf like really suffer if I did that considering that nobody really watches my playthroughs anyway you know it's not like anyone cares about that I just need to start um I just need to basically start advertising myself again you know getting those people who will actually enjoy the playthroughs and stuff like that the problem is I don't put myself out there too much and you know I know other people don't put me out there so that's literally what I need to do is just start, you know, advertising once again, which like I said, I don't do. I don't even comment on like a lot of YouTube videos either. And I know YouTube videos, commenting on like as many YouTube videos as you can, especially if you're like watching smaller content creators and stuff like that is a good way to grow. But at the same time, I'm just like, I'll just grow when I grow. I'll let people find me. That's how it's always been with me. I never really advertise anymore. Ever since I gotten back from, you know, my PC being destroyed, <laughs> I have not been advertising on Twitter anymore, which I'm going to start back doing. You know, taking taking that little time I could be, you know, sleeping to advertise and get the channel back where I want it. Just a fun environment where I can play anything I want and people will enjoy anything I do. I just need to <laughs> put in effort against that. But that's not even the biggest issue. 
Like I said, I'm not being lazy. It's just that I just don't have a lot of time in the day to do it. But when I do have the time of the day, I just try to spend it as wisely as I can or either try to and relax and, you know, stay stress free because doing this shit stressed out is not fun. That's for sure. You start to lose your motivation, your drive and stuff like that. And I don't need to be losing the motivation for it. It's mostly just trying to use every bit of time wisely that I have into the most productive way. While also wanting to play with friends. But I know most of my friends don't play random shit. They, they're very picky about what game they're going to play. And can you not? Can you fuck off, dude? Go away. Whoops. I wasn't trying to hit you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> it didn't hit you. But yeah. Literally just trying to find like... I think I put up like a community tab for this. Basically talking about it's so difficult to find like... You know... Other people who are willing to collab or make like a little small YouTube group... That will have no problem with each other and shit like that. And will actually have an open-minded sense of humor about everything. And not just you know, be offended by shit. That's the most difficult thing that you can actually find right now. Especially if you're willing to actually collab with people. If you're willing to collab with people, that you're going to figure out that that's really difficult. You're always going to try and look for those safe for work people. Maybe you won't find them. If you want to, you know, people with, who aren't just like full on safe for work, but they get really aggressive at anyone, you know? But overall, I'm just trying to, you know, find like a group of friends who are like open-minded, you know, like to have fun, don't don't care about like winning and everything. Because most of my friends, you know, they like to have fun and stuff, but winning is mostly fun for them, you know? And the, most of them just play shooters anyway. Yeah, most of my friends are just like fanatics when it comes to shooters. Dude, I'm fucking average when it comes to shooters. <laughs> but I honestly don't care about losing or winning. Obviously, you know, some of my friends do. And not all friends that I have are willing to, you know, play everything. That's for sure. Like me, I'm open-minded about basically any game that I play. Unless it looks extremely terrible, then... You know, I'm fully honest about a game. If it's terrible, I will say so. If it's alright, I will say so. If it's pretty damn good and nobody else likes it, I'll say it's pretty damn good. I don't give a fuck what people think. I was just getting my opinion out there. Just because somebody else is completely trashing the game doesn't mean I'm just going to as, as well. I don't join bandwagons like that, you know? But... Back to the whole, you know, finding, like, a group of YouTube friends. I would still be playing with my, you know, normal friends when there's a good shooter out. Which is a fucking rarity. Because most shooters end up being trash or my friends play them for a while, then they just get tired of it. I mostly play a little bit of, like, fighting games with Hollow. But we haven't played fighting games in a while, considering I've just been straight up working. So I haven't had the time to really hang out with him which really fucking sucks because we actually thought about like streaming Tekken and just you know training you know practicing with each other just throwing hands but we haven't gotten that time just because you know I just been working and I thought that would be like a really fun fucking video to actually do shit we would play One Piece Burning Blood but you know I like how Kiji and <laughs> the last time we played that, Alkiji almost ruins the friendships. <laughs> but overall, shit. If there was like some really good Dynasty Warrior style games, me and Hollow would be on that shit. Like instantly. If there was like some good horror games, we would definitely be on that shit. Like multiplayer horror games. Let's say that. It would literally have to be multiplayer. Why did I passively go to this island? I guess I was just talking and just got sidetracked. But yeah, 
if there was like some good co-op horror games, we would be on that shit. Especially if it's like cheap, you know, or we get a key for it. Like I, like we have um, the Blackout Club, but after playing with the game and having the Stalker fully on our ass through the whole match without him de-aggroing and shit. It was a pain in the ass to deal with, I swear to god. But I'm pretty sure they fixed it, so I'm going to talk to them and see if they want to try it again. But they probably won't. <laughs> and... You know, there's some other games that will probably come out that'll be good. But you know, we don't actually just throw our money too much around like that. At least we try not to. And plus we gotta wait for... Uh, Waffle to get like a new graphics card, then he'll be set for a while. All of my friends' PCs are pretty much upgraded. Well, except for Alexis. Alexis, I think, probably has a different graphics card to where she can't handle VR chat for some reason. Because we were playing like VR chat last night, and oh my god, it was fun. I just, I just fucked up on like broadcasting it. <laughs> Because apparently they couldn't hear her. All you could hear is like just me talking in the background. So through that whole stream, it was just me. And probably a few other people with in-game mic. But I know how to fix that. I'll definitely be playing with more friends. I'll definitely be playing with more viewers who, you know, been with my channel for like so damn long. Just because they're always in my Twitch streams, you know? Okay, really? Come on, game. Okay. Apparently you know your strafe better than I do. But yeah, sh shit, if I could find like a good group of people to play with who are willing to play pretty much anything, shit, that would be cool. But it's such a rarity to get people who are open-minded about like, you know, certain jokes or can't or won't like fight each other at every point in time. Well, I guess streamers too. I mostly have streaming friends. Okay, and I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Oh, excuse me? Did I just... What the fuck was that? All that random damage. But... Yeah, like I was saying, if I can find like a group of YouTubers you know, who are chilled, open-minded, have good mics, have good PCs, can basically play anything, I would be all open for it. But for me... Whoops. For me, it's kind of like awkward to get into just because I would actually have to know those people for a while, you know? Talk to them, get to know them. For me, I'm just not used to like openly collabing with people. Especially if I don't know the person for, for after a while. Especially if they're new to me. It's gonna take me a while to judge like their sense of humor, what jokes I can say, what jokes I can't say. You know? Shit like that. But I'll keep searching while playing with my current friends and trying to find games that they enjoy or will enjoy. Sooner or later, we'll just figure something out. But yeah, that's that's pretty much everything I wanted to talk about. I'm also using Pirates Online since I haven't played Pirates Online this week. This is my Pirates Online video. <laughs> Me just talking behind it because coming up with random shit to say in the middle of playing this is kind of weird. But you know, hey. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Shadow should be having a PC soon, so yeah, I'll play games with him if he uh, decides to get a mic and shit, you know. But yeah, we'll leave that in the future. We'll definitely leave that in the future. And so then, I guess that's it for now. How many people do I have in this game yet? Oh shit. Well, so there's some Jolly Rogers going on. But anyway. Until then, peace out.